welcome back. In today's video we're going to be talking about the different stroke lengths on a rotary tattoo machine. But before we do that, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe. So let's get straight on with the video. Now it can be really confusing, especially to an apprentice when learning about all the different strokes on a rotary machine. I'm going to specifically concentrate on rotaries. I'm not going to talk about coils, that's going to be for another video. So, a good rule of thumb to follow is a 3.5 is in this centre. So, that kind of stroke is good for basic line work, good for excellent for colour work, and good for basic black and grey. Now, the stroke is... Um, all down to these little things called a cam. Now on a lot of machines, these are interchangeable. Um, this is off an inkjector, so you could have 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4 millimeter. If you like smooth black and gray, you're gonna want a machine with a stroke, a 2.5, 3 millimeter at the most. However, there are some exceptions, like the Bishop Wand, which is a 3.5 stroke, this has so much give that it's, you can run it quite quick without damaging the skin and just layer it up. It's um, quick with a soft hit. Now for line work, you can do it with a 3.5, but like I said, it's basic line work. If you want to do some crisp, solid saturated lines that are gonna heal well, you're gonna want a, a stroke of four millimeter or above something with a bit more punch if you do doing it with 3.5 you want to slow right down for good solid let's say tribal or traditional work four millimeter is perfect something like a, a Cheyenne Thunder um, injector on the four millimeter anything like that but if I'm doing like lots of colour blending and stuff like that, I love the 3.5. The 3.5 is my favourite for colour work. Uh, the Solnova is perfect for that. For black and grey, my favourite machine is the Inkjector on a 3mm stroke. Although you can achieve the same results with that. It can get a bit confusing when you have all different cams what are interchangeable and all different adjustable give. I like a machine that runs straight out of the box like the Solnova or the Bishop ones. You, you ain't got to piss about. But I will always say if you're unsure, stick with the 3.5, you can't go far wrong. So if you like that video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.